There are new details in the case of this Russian national arrested and accused of being an illegal Kremlin agent. Maria Butina made her first court appearance today. New court documents allege she took orders from a Russian official with close ties to Putin. And from the looks of her apartment, she appears to have been getting ready to skip town at the time of her arrest. Before we talk about this with our next guest, we get some quick background tonight from NBC News Justice correspondent Pete Williams. The FBI says during the two years Maria Butina was making a name for herself as a Washington, D.C. college student and gun enthusiast hoping to further relations with Russia, she had a dark secret. Prosecutors say her every move was directed by a Russian government official, Alexander Torshin, close ally of Vladimir Putin. Investigators say she hid in plain sight, joining the NRA to get close to influential Republicans. Unaware, law enforcement officials say that the FBI was watching her. The Russians for decades have been trying to penetrate Washington circles. This is very reminiscent of the 10 Russian illegals, the sleeper agents who were arrested several years ago. But this was a speed version of that. At a 2015 Trump event in Las Vegas, she asked the candidate a question. If you would be elected as a president, what will be your foreign policy, politics, especially in the relationships with my country? Court documents say she offered sex for access to an unnamed political group. The FBI arrested her last weekend when she was packing up to move. In court today, she pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors said she should be jailed pending trial because she could slip into the Russian embassy and the FBI couldn't stop her. But her lawyer says she's no flight risk and has known for months that she was under investigation. She's not an agent of the Russian government, the Russian Federation. She's innocent of the charges brought against her. Most importantly, she's a young student seeking to make a way in America. She's not charged with being a spy, but the FBI says she was part of a covert Russian campaign to influence American politics. Pete Williams, NBC News at Federal Court in Washington. Should she worry that her lawyer is reading off a piece of paper? We don't know. The Butina case is not a Mueller case. Mueller's office, as we've been talking about, did just indict those 12 Russian intelligence officers. And tonight, notably, President Trump was asked again whether he's willing to meet with Mueller's team. But would you say, are you more likely to sit for an interview now? Uh, my lawyers are working on that. I've always wanted to do an interview because, look, there's been no collusion. There's been no talk of Russia. There's been no phone call. There's been nothing. And uh, it's, uh, I call it a witch hunt. That's exactly what it is. Well, let's talk about this. And with us to do that, former U.S. Attorney Joyce Vance, who spent 25 years as a federal prosecutor. Joyce, if this isn't crazy, it'll do till crazy gets here, as they say. What do you make, what strikes you about this case of this young woman, again, who was apparently fixing to, to leave town? You know, it looks that way, and it also looks like we're finally getting to watch that season of The Americans that yeah. the producers wouldn't run because it seemed too far-fetched, right? Yep, yep. Um, this, all, all joking aside, I think that this is a very serious case. Although it's not currently being handled by Mueller's team, it looks like a case that could end up there or that could be a companion case to their work because of the very serious nature of allegations that Russians were trying to influence the NRA. And we know that $30 million in, in money funneled out of the NRA into the presidential campaign more than the NRA had ever contributed. So there are serious questions that will need to be answered here. And I know you're not a political analyst, but spool this out a little bit. And if that's proven, if Russian money was in an NRA pool, you've got all these people running for re-election in the midterms whose opponents can now say, uh, my opponent accepted Russian money from the gun lobby. There's an enormous amount of political risk here, potentially, for people who are accepting money or who were otherwise intertwined with the NRA. Perhaps that's why we're not hearing a lot of chit-chat from the NRA itself. I would have expected them to come out a lot more strongly in defense of their organization and all of their many leaders who have appeared in photographs accepting an honorary membership in Butina's Russian gun organization. But we've not seen that. Obviously, there's a lot of information left here to come out, and it could be very dangerous for politicians. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.